Howdy, y'all. It's Ryan. And Angela. Yeah. And Aiden. <laughs> it's Saturday. Yes. Oh, yeah. From r and Music. Deep in the heart of Texas. They've already heard from me. Oh, I, well, shh. <laughs> I just got up. I didn't just get up. I've been awake for a long time. It's Saturday. We're doing vlogs. She's already been vlogging, but this is, clip's going to go first. That's right. Maybe, because she's been up and working hard. Good morning. This is my half of the video, obviously. Um, it is 7.40 in the morning, and um, I'm, take, I'm on my way to take Nicholas to work. Hello. Hi, Nicholas. Then I'm going to go help a friend. We, uh, I have a ministry called Giving Hope Ministries, and not only do we help empower women and teach them their worth and how much they're loved, but we also have a branch that is starting to do community outreach. So today I'm meeting with another lady in the Bible study, and we're going to go help a woman who's in. A wheelchair and she's in a desperate need for a ramp at her house and we're gonna go assess the situation because it's all overgrown and she needs the area cleared out of brush and overgrown trees first before we even start to lay down a ramp for her um, so that she can live in her home and we're also gonna provide her with some groceries and other things like cleaning her house and maybe even setting up her up with a um, house cleaner. So if you are wanting to um, help or donate to this cause, I will put the link to Giving Hope Ministries. Um, we have a PayPal page that you can just send your donations. Um, or if you're in this area and you would like to come help, um, just comment below the video. All right, see you in a little bit. Okay, so we got quite a bit done. Um, we had to prepare the house around it because there was quite a bit of overgrowth and um, the previous owners had dropped a bunch of trash out there. So um, we are trying to clear the way so that the men can come in and ladies can come in and start building a front deck with a wheelchair ramp and a side deck with a wheelchair ramp for the young woman, um, well, young woman, uh, to be able to move in. Um, lots of people showed up, it was very great. Uh, well, we had about a team of, let's see, about eight that came out to pull weeds, and so blessed that we had got to do that. I'm hot, very dirty, and I need to probably use my neti pot when I get home. Lots of dust and stuff got kicked up. And, but very fulfilling, very exciting to see these women. They're actually triplets. And the sister moved down to be closer to her other siblings. And now she needs a, a very, um, you know, stable place to stay. And this works out perfectly for her. So, um, it's so awesome to be a blessing to people because this is what it's all about. If we're not doing things for others, we're doing it wrong. So, yeah, I'm on my way now to get some electrolytes put back in me because I burned quite a bit. It's not smart to do a lot of work on just, just carbs because I had oatmeal this morning with some apples and raisins. Um, I have plenty of water and that's fine, but now I need some electrolytes. So I'm on my way to get some maybe a Powerade or something because you know this is Canton so we don't have any specialty stores or anything like that here but anyways so that's where I'm headed see you a little bit the Ryan edition you know <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've been up I've been working I've been finishing uh, publishing our video and editing stuff so I've been, been yeah. busy since you left just yeah. haven't been out it's been up since I left I haven't been out so uh, right now we are going to go what are you drinking Powerade. Powerade. We did this keto thing for about a week. Mm -hmm. So seven days of keto. And we're going to evaluate. And I think part of this evaluation is I think we need more carbs. A little bit. <laughs> a, little a, bit little bit a little bit more. A little bit more. So we have lost some weight. Yes. But, you know. Oh, 
I, I lost a ton of weight years ago. I didn't do keto. I ate really clean. I kind of watched my calories. And I cut the crappy carbs, like, sh you know, sugar and all the highly refined stuff. And I lost 40 pounds. So, I don't know. Oh. We're just kind of trying, evaluating. What's this guy doing? I don't know. But, uh. Yeah, let's be careful. Oh, oh, dear Lord, dear Lord. Air card coming. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> in Texas. You know you're in Texas. When your hay trailer, when, you're, when your hay trailer is having problems at the intersection. <laughs> yes, exactly. If the donut shop needs to trim something. Do some. We're not getting donuts. We're getting cheese hogs. Yes, because there's some protein. protein. Yes. There is protein and fat. But we are getting donuts. So. No, <laughs> no donuts. <laughs> it is like get this. I want a donut. Let's get some chocolate filled eclairs for sprinkles. <laughs> we're some. not we're not going full swing the other direction. So. No, we're not. That's bad for you. Yeah. Guessed it. I'm a Walmart. We're at the shop now. Angela's teaching some makeup voice lessons inside. I may or may not film that. A little bit older students. I mean, not older, they're like teenage girls, but <clears throat> they may not want to be on film, so. Come check out the sweet manhole. I need to mow the grass out here. But it's like 109 degrees today, so probably not gonna happen. Something happened though here. Somebody ran over that manhole cover with something and broke it. Well, maybe I showed you that last time. I don't remember. Every time I come out and see it, though, I'm like, man, city needs to come fix that. Somebody walking might fall into it, and that would be a problem. <sighs> so dang hot. Let's go inside. Well, Angela's done with her voice lessons. We've just been sitting and talking, and uh, we're watching some of the Ask RNA video that went live this morning. I published it this morning, that's what I mean to say. She was watching it with me because, of course, she wasn't here when we shot it last night. She was home, so we were, la we were laughing. We were both laughing at me and Paul. <laughs> so we had, I had a lot of fun doing that, that video and the edits and some of the sound effects we had going. So. Um, but she just left. She ran to the store to grab some stuff, and then she's going to go home for a little bit and before she goes to the movies. And uh, I'm going to be here working still. But uh, it's all right. It's all good. It's all good. I've been working on my Gibson Explorer. Check it out. You probably saw that. Yeah, man. That's it. That's my baby right there, right there. Oh, yeah. I love this guitar. I don't play it all the time. You know. But I do love it. It's my favorite. And this is probably my favorite strap, I suppose, that I have. I, I handcrafted this. I made this strap from leather myself. Hand dyed, hand cut, you know, hand installed all the rivets and all that kind of stuff. So it's pretty sweet. I like that strap a lot. It's kind of my tribute to Zach Wilde's old straps that I guess he still uses them. I don't know. But yeah, so I got it here. Thinking about restringing it, but I think I'm out of 10 to 52s. I usually use 10 to 52s on this, so I can do the drop C sharp, drop D, drop C stuff. I'm gonna have to hunt and see if I have any 10 to 52s left, but. Yeah, man. So nice. Oh, Angela's here.
dark chocolate. Your your light chocolate. A milk chocolate, babe. You, you milk chocolate. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you have fun at the store? Yes, I did. What'd you get? I got chocolates, things, stuff, yes. things. That's right. Yes. Stuff and things for the house. Yep. So you're not coming in? No, I'm gonna go back to Bubba until. Until movie time. What are you gonna go see? Mamma Mia, dos. <laughs> Mamma Mia, Mamma Mia. Yeah. Oh, Mamma Mia, let me go. <laughs> I think, I think I might come back up here and mow this ditch. Unless I can find Dad's ride mower. It's over there. I yeah, might. It's up there. Is it? Mm -hmm. I might. Saw it. I thought I saw it. I might try. To, I'll just use yeah. that. Oh, those, Almond butter. Those bramble thingies. Brambles. Yeah. Bramble on. <laughs> Thanks for the dark chocolate. Love, love you. Love See you time. later. You're super cute. So excited. Cut way back on the uh, the candy. But uh, dark chocolate is actually supposed to be pretty healthy for you. Gotta watch the calories, does have a lot of fat. But if you're on a high fat, low carb diet, that's all right. Saturated fat, eight grams. Mm. Total carbs, 21 grams. Huh, well, okay. Well, that's six pieces though. That, that's a, I don't usually eat that much. So I'm gonna have me some dark chocolate as a little snacky snack. I already had some yogurt, <laughs> mozzarella cheese stick. Uh, what else do I have? Water. Oh, cheese hog. We had a cheese hog this morning from the uh, from the donut shop. I didn't have a donut. Cheese hog, because it had protein and fat in it, and some carbs. We were just talking. I think we decided we're not going to go the full the full on keto. I think we might be doing more of like a modified keto, which I've been reading up on, studying up on, where it's still a low carb, a low carb diet, um, but not so low that your body goes into ketosis and is producing ketones. But you can still be burning fat and using fat as a fuel source and not be completely into uh, ketosis. But uh, yeah, we were both getting kind of grumpy and like not enough energy um to work to do some of the not like here at the shop but like you know yard work and mowing and like lifting weights and stuff i couldn't it was hard for me to get back into weightlifting without having the you know the energy to do that but whatevs that was the point we were going to try it for a week see how we felt see the results we both lost about four or five pounds which i'm sure is mostly water you don't lose you don't lose five pounds of fat in a week that's not that's not practical. Uh, your body releases a lot of that water though, it's been stored, so. But anyways, I think I'm gonna go back to about four years ago, in case you wanna know. We're gonna talk about diets. About four years ago, I lost 40 pounds, um, essentially from just eating really clean. I did cut back on my carb intake because it was way over the top. Too much sugar and candy and junk food and refined, refined things. Um, but I just started eating a lot cleaner. Got rid of the junk, carbs, like sugar, obviously. Well, but not completely. I still had some, see? I still had, four years ago, I would have eggs and egg whites for breakfast. One piece of like whole grain toast with butter on it. And I would have a monster chaos, which was like 140 calories. A lot of it from sugar. And then very late in the day, I'd have a little tiny eight ounce Dr. Pepper, a little glass bottle Dr. Pepper. 100 calories, a little bitty, sugar. So I'd still have a little bit of that stuff, but I cut way back, you know, up the protein, up. <laughs> the only green vegetable I like was green beans. So I had green beans and chicken. I was just eating a lot cleaner than I used to. And I still lost 40 pounds, really without even exercising. And so I, it wasn't, that was not a low carb ketogenic diet but I still lost a truckload of weight in like four or five months. So I think I'm gonna go back to doing that maybe. 
and I was keeping an eye on my calorie. I was kind of counting calories back then too. So, you know, if you're in a calorie deficit, if you're in a calorie deficit, you are going to burn fat. If you're in ketosis, you're going to burn fat. <laughs> There's a lot of ways to do it. It's not just one way to do it. But, anyways, enough of that. I'm waiting for the ooh, good news, good news. I'm waiting for the internet people to come out to the shop. Um, they're going to come out and see if they can raise. Uh, they're going to have to probably put up a pole, get it much higher in the air to get my uh, antenna for the internet up a little bit higher. But if it works and we're close enough to the tower, we may be getting some faster internet speed here. I might be getting like uh, like a 15 down, uh, 5 up. Or is it 10 down and 5 up? I think it's 15 and 5. So we're getting, which is not very fast to a lot of you guys, but it's a significant improvement for us. Right now I have like four megs down and one meg up, which is why we don't do live streams. I don't have enough internet upload speed to do live streams. But I'll find out later today if we can change that and get our upload speed cranking. And then we may be able to start doing some high def HD live streams. So excited. I hope so. Find out in a couple hours. So last minute decision, I decided to go to the movies. I needed some me time. I had a pretty rough day and I wanted to get out and do something just... Not that anything bad has happened per se, it's just, you know, overwhelmed emotionally <clears throat> and just needed to go and spend some time, quality time with myself, loving myself. Not one, but four people's calm trucks are here. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> These guys have been great. I just gotta say, because our cable, cable internet in Canton, Texas is crap. It's been crap for a long time. It got bought out by a new company. It's still crap. But since I switched over to these guys, which is like a little, I have a little, basically a small square dish radio tower type thing. Haven't had a problem with the internet here other than it not being fast enough for me. Which is, you know, it's the speed I get through these guys is on par with the same speed I get through the small town East Texas cable out here. So, uh, you know, but they just upgraded some equipment and now I'm going to up, up my speed. So we should have like a five megabyte upload speed, which, like I said, should make us able to do live streams. I might test that in like a little while once they're done and see if it works. So excited. <laughs> so excited. It's vlogception, right? Filming myself live streaming <laughs> for the Saturday vlog because it's Saturday. It's what we do. And uh, yeah, so say hello, guys. <laughs> About to sign off from our live stream. Yeah. Thank you, all these guys. Flipside music, rock on bro. Scott, still 107 degrees. All right, Todd Bogley, Colin James, Derek Down Under, Justin Mabe, Wade, Scott H., Flipside Music, Matt Demaz, Justin. Thank you guys so much. Had a great time doing the live stream tonight. It was about an hour and 25 minutes. You guys are amazing champs. And I saw Mamma Mia 2, which I wouldn't have been able to see with the boys anyways, because it's a musical. And the ending made me ball my eyeballs out. Yep. It's good. It is 8 o'clock right now. Time to go home, have a little bit of dinner, drink some more water. There's the devil cat I was playing in the live stream. And yeah, man, I'm super, I'm super pleased. That live stream went really pretty well. It was just meant to be a test of the new internet service that we've got upgraded on our speed. Finally, finally, been waiting several months for that to happen. And the guys, People's Calm came out today, took care of it, they were rad. They thought they were gonna have to put up like a 40 foot tower, but they didn't. They just had to raise ours like maybe another foot or two and we were good. 
So super awesome. I'm really stoked about being able to do some more live streams for you guys. So I gotta get my stuff ready, I gotta go home. I'm not normally at the shop this late on Saturdays, but uh, it's totally worth it. You know, got that live stream done. I'm very, very excited about that. Looking forward to doing a, uh, a joint live stream with my buddy Ike. We've been talking about it for months, and now just waiting on me to get faster internet in Canton. And now it looks like it's going to work. Maybe a couple bugs to still work out. But uh, I'm going to hit up my buddies who live stream a lot more and ask their advice. So, all right, I got to go home. I got to get my stuff and go home and get some rest. So I actually go home and edit video. Anyways, <laughs> see you guys at the house. Ah, see? Our little ditch looks terrible. I need to mow it. And I don't know if I have time. I may come back and mow this just a little bit. All right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed our weekend vlog. Hush, ashes. <laughs> Hush. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the YouTube people. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed our uh, Saturday vlog. It's not Saturday now, but I'm just now wrapping this up. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. I haven't even seen it yet. <laughs> I'm about to go edit this. So hope you guys had a great weekend and uh, have a great week this week. You know, take some time, enjoy your life, enjoy playing some guitar, keep the music alive. Music needs you. And we need the music really bad. There's Skyrim music over there. <laughs> we will talk to you guys soon. We have more videos coming. I'm so excited to uh, have you guys see those. And thank you for so much for all your kind words and support and comments. It means a lot to us. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Khajiit as wears if you have the coin. <laughs>